Zaporizhia nuclear power plant resumed electricity supplies to Ukraine on Friday after one of its six reactors was reconnected to the Ukrainian grid, state nuclear company Energodom said. Europe's largest nuclear power plant, which is located in southern Ukraine, was disconnected from the Ukrainian grid for the first time in its history on Thursday after a fire caused by shelling damaged a power line, Kiev said earlier. The outage caused fears that there could be a catastrophic radiation disaster if the electricity was not restored in time. The Zaporizhia nuclear power station is connected to the grid and is producing electricity for the needs of Ukraine, Energovim said in a statement on Friday. Meanwhile, Russia decided to deliver a batch of heavy military equipment to Crimea, which includes an echelon with tanks, howitzers, and self-propelled artillery systems. They were spotted at the Taman railway station near the entrance to the Kerch Crimean bridge on its Russian side. Eyewitnesses noticed engineer mining machines on the railway platforms, in particular, the IMR-1 engineering machine mounted on the T-55 tank chassis, two C-19s to S, 152mm divisional self-propelled howitzers, and two C-1 Vostika, 122mm regimental self-propelled howitzers. In another place, a Ukrainian regional governor says the country's soldiers have killed 200 Russian airborne troops in an assault that toppled a base in Ukraine's occupied east. Suri Haidai, the governor of Ukraine's Luhansk administrative district, said on Friday in a telegram post that Ukrainian troops had successfully attacked the Russian base set up in a hotel in the occupied city of Kadyivka. Haidai's claim to victory comes as Russia's advance in Ukraine's eastern regions has reportedly stalled as the conflict reaches six months.